Hello, my name is Sissy Peters and I'm the program director of the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center Reading Clinic and Echo Reading. I also have the privilege of teaching several undergraduate and graduate level courses through the Department of Special Education. I love my role because I feel that I am a translator between some of the incredible research that's happening at Vanderbilt, many other higher education institutions, and practice, which is what I am at my core, a teacher. I think that this aspect of a teacher prep program, one that truly aligns with the science of reading is vital. It's vital because if we understand the why behind different interventions, then we can make the best decisions for our students. For example, one of the projects that we do at Vanderbilt that was done when I was a student and is still done now is a curriculum analysis presentation. Students are given different curricula and they need to analyze it against the research. They need to look at the efficacy, the training, how long it would take for a teacher to be trained, the materials, how hard is it to implement, the cost, and does it hit the targeted group that it was intending to hit? I think that this project is so beneficial because it helped me understand these are the questions that I need to be asking with any intervention that I pick for my students. It's helpful because we walk into a school and we don't have choice over what's already been decided before we got there. And we know that schools are up against tight budgets and possibly even curriculum constraints. Maybe they have to be in a certain curriculum for the next three years. So if we know how to discern if a certain intervention is effective, we can then either figure out how to supplement, maybe a curriculum is great for phonics and fluency, but not for vocab and comprehension. Okay, now I know that I need to supplement with something that would be great for that. Or we can possibly help make a case for our administration and explain why we think that something else might be more effective. I think that that conversation is so important to be able to have. And if you understand the science behind the why, you're able to do that. I'm also so thrilled that the Reading League has created with so many collaborators, a definition of the science of reading. I think that that defining guide is also pivotal in a teacher prep program. I myself used it last fall with one of my undergraduate courses. I brought up the defining guide and that's how I framed a lot of the discussion around what is effective and what is ineffective. I think because it takes the emotion out of the conversation. We're saying now that we know better, we need to do better. And I think the defining guide helps us do that. It opens up conversation. I also think it's vital in the teacher preparation program to not only understand the why, but also where to go. Where can you find excellent resources to support your students? University of Florida's literacy institutes, FCRR, the Meadows Center, the Iris Center, and countless others are all great sources of excellent information that's evidence-based. It's important that our student teachers know where to go to find the answers. We can't train them in every curriculum. That doesn't even make sense to train them like that because new interventions are consistently coming out. But we can train them to understand the research behind these interventions so that they can make the best decisions for their students. If they know the why, and where to go leaving a prep program, I personally think that I've done my job. I also think that it will reduce the sometimes guilt that I hear from teachers in my incredible Echo Reading Network who say, I'm eight years into the field. I wasn't trained in the science of reading. I feel that I've been ineffective with my students. That's a tough pill for me to swallow. I tell them, you can't do what you didn't know, which is so true. But if we can do it right the first time in these training programs, we'll reduce that feeling of guilt, anxiety, or even stress and burnout from feeling like, I don't know what is gonna work for my students. Let's best support our teachers from the onset. We know what to do, now it's time that we do it. We are at a crossroads as a field. And I feel that if we align as a collective group and have these great conversations around the science of reading and make decisions for our higher education universities, that we will only see increased student achievement and reduced teacher burnout, which is the goal on both ends. Thank you for joining me today.